Hong Kong. Today I want to talk about Blue Home, which is a retro clone of Holmes Basic. Now, Holmes Basic is near and dear to my heart because I first started with it, and the Blue Home people made a retro clone so it would be available. And I first started with the Prentice Rules, which was a straight retro clone of Blue of Holmes Basic. But then they came up with the idea of expanding it into the Prentice Rules. Or, or sorry, the, the Journeyman Rules, which was would be an expansion of Holmes Basic. And I was very excited about this at first because it's I have a fondness for Holmes Basic since I started with it. But I, I was disappointed with the execution. Um, it other people have tried to expand Holmes Basic. It only did a couple of pages, but this was going to be a full page book. So let's take a look at it. Put this away. Pull out Holmes Basic, or sorry, Blue Home Journeyman Rules. So. First of all, it's got really good artwork on the front. It's very evocative of the original cover here. Very similar. And so I like that about it. And the Prentice Rules has a blue book, just like the book that was inside the Holmes Basic. So I had great hopes for what they would do with this. So I open it up. Okay, so there, there are only four classes. The, the classes go up to 20th level here, but there are only four. There's Cleric, Fighting Man has become Fighter, there's Magic User, and Thief. And that's it. Uh, one of the things I don't like about Holmes Basic, which I retained, is that Clerics don't get spells at first level. They don't get them until second level. Um, also, clerics in this version have six-sided hit dice, not eight. Fighters have eight-sided, masters have four-sided, and thieves have four-sided. And so the thief skills have been progressed up to more than 100% at 20th level, but all kinds of problems can go wrong that decreases your chance penalties. Um, the alignment matrix has gone from nine to five and they twist turned it because of copyright reasons so so now there's there's no lawful neutral neutral good neutral evil it's just lawful good lawful evil chaotic good chaotic evil and neutral so yeah so only those four classes none of the classes i was promised at home's basic no paladins rangers Illusionists, witches, druids, monks, or assassins. None of those. Uh, the equipment list is a little bit longer than Holmes Basic, but not too much so. And there's descriptions of all this stuff. And the art, I'm very happy with. One of my complaints about the mighty Hasbro Corporation, which has the power to outbid everybody else, and yet their art is not as good as some of these retro clones are. Okay, so cleric spells, there's eight spells for every level up to seventh level. There were only first and second level spells in Holmes Basic, but now they've gone up to seventh level. Okay, and then magic user spells. They've got 20 spells of each level, even 29th level spells, which is more than most versions of Dungeons and Dragons have. So I like that about it. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's like some good artwork here. Yeah, so not good spells. Lots of good spells here. 
and it goes into how to play the game. Okay, so as I said earlier, only four classes. There's no, there's fighters, clerics, magic users, thieves. There's no dwarves, no elves, no halflings. So when we get into the creatures, it talks about creatures as characters. And it even gives thieves modifiers for s some other races. See, in this case, you can make dwarves who are fighters or magic users or thieves. You can make halflings that are magic users. You can make elves who are clerics. You've got these, this chart to tell you how to adjust the thieving abilities for different races. So you can be any race you want. But it took me a while to figure out that that's what they were trying to do here. And in the race, character classes, it mentions multi-class. You can do that. So you can be a multi-class fighter, magic user, elf. So, and it's got all of the creatures that are in Holmes Basic, but it's got some that are not. Things like the Deep Ones and the Great Race. Let's see, and, you know, it's got. And uh, Lycanthropes, it's got the Wear Shark as a Lycanthrope, which I thought was cool. And some of them are renamed, like Displacer Beasts, because of the lawyers have to be renamed as Octocats. And there's even the old ones. Let's see, the, some of the Cthulhu monsters that were in Deities and Demigods and removed because the lawyers are stupid. They're in here, renamed. But demons here, there's just three types, normal, large, and huge, with a whole bunch of possible spells, abilities that they might have. So, it's kind of interesting. Now, my, my main complaint is they didn't have those classes. That there are more magic items than Holmes Basic has in it. And more magic items, lots of pages of those. Not sure that's really needed. Uh, but it's still a simple game system. Here's a character sheet for Blue Home, and it's pretty much like the Home's basic one. There's not much to fill out. It has an index to help you find stuff. That's very handy. Home's basic did not have that. So, so I'm disappointed with it, but it's still, it's a good system. It's just, uh, Home's basic was good. Expanding it, I expected things from it I didn't yet, but overall, it's pretty good.